A spokesman for the police department says that heavily armed men were spotted downtown over the weekend at the protest and that police officers reported hearing shots fired. There was definitely gunfire on multiple occasions. We haven't been able to confirm if that gunfire was hurled directly at our officers or not, but we certainly uh, know that it occurred. Deputy Chief Mike Terry says the gunfire happened very near police officers on South Elm Street Saturday night. He says police couldn't identify who fired the shots because officers were busy with protesters, some of whom were throwing rocks at police, others breaking windows of local businesses. However, police say they did spot at least two pickup trucks with heavily armed men downtown during the protest. Pictures like this one have circulated on social media, catching the attention of the city's mayor. It's frightening that people are so bold. Am I being overly sensitive and seeing that and going, that's a little frightening to me? Uh, no doubt about it. It's something that, that's shocking. Uh, but, but quite frankly, a lot of this, what we're seeing right now, has been shocking to us. Deputy Chief Terry says officers had no problems with any of the armed men they encountered during the protest. WXII 12 News has learned that some of those armed men claim to be members of a right-wing extremist group known by the name Boogaloo. They want everyone to have a gun. <laughs> um, they want to talk to you about guns. They want to evangelize to you about guns. Elon University professor Megan Squire, who studies online communities and specializes in far right-wing extremist groups, says there is a small group of Boogaloos here in the triad. The group is known by the Hawaiian shirts they wear, which you can see in this picture of a group of men reportedly from Randolph County. Squire says the group's hopes and dreams are for a second civil war and a chance to overturn what they view as a tyrannical government. Do we have any reason to be fearful of this group? That's unknown. <laughs> um, I, I am very uncomfortable with their rhetoric that I'm seeing online. Uh, particularly directed at left-wing protesters. So I'm, I'm very, very concerned about that. Professor Squire says that Boogaloo members show up at protests claiming to offer protection to either shopkeepers or even protesters from police. Greensboro police tell me that at least one store owner called them concerned about armed gunmen in front of his store. We reached out to several members of the Boogaloos for an interview. They declined our offer. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.